The agreement between Ethiopia and Djibouti is multifaceted. Ethiopia gets access to the port in Djibouti, and in return, Djibouti gets a stake in some of Ethiopia's strategic national assets. This new arrangement will help us to further invest on not only existing ports in Djibouti, but also in additional port facilities in Djibouti. And it will also facilitate Djibouti to invest in key Ethiopia's public enterprises of infrastructure or service or other natures, depending on the detailed discussions that we are going to engage in. It is an exciting news for both sides, and it is hoped to elevate the economic integration between the two neighboring states. Let's expand our relationship to the next level. Let's say that's our telecom, this is our port. Let's defend it together. Let's invest together. Let's intermingle and connect our people together. My country is determined to continue its effort towards the, this economic integration, which can only be beneficial to the two countries in particular and to the region as a whole. I wholeheartedly hope that the friendship and the long-standing Djibouti-Ethiopian relations will continue to thrive by feeding on more intensive and rewarding commitments. Ethiopia's Minister of Communication Affairs, Ahmed Shide, says the development sends a loud message about renewed partnership between Djibouti and Ethiopia. Ethiopia respects its neighbors, all of them, uh, and uh, Djibouti is our important neighbor. Uh, we are both sovereign, independent countries, but our interests are highly intertwined. What we are doing is to advise, to advance our common interest for the benefit of our two people. With a relationship that has surpassed the test of time, both Ethiopia and Djibouti are enjoying an ever-blooming ties. Observers say what came out of the first meeting of the leaders of the two countries over the weekend is a clear testimony of a brighter future for the people of the two Eastern Africa countries. Groom Tala CGTN, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.